Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's January 1st, 2024, and I'm going to take you on a tour of my account. So, here's my profile right quick here. Um, you see how many heroes I have. My total base hero rating is 6.5 million. Uh, my prestige, 19,471. That's made up of 18,393 champion prestige and 1,078 relic prestige. All right, uh, let's take a look here. As you can see, everybody in my profile has been ascended. That onslaught right there, he is my newest addition, and I love him. He is pretty good. All right, here are my relics. The Storm Battlecast, um, I think at this point, is the only awakened six-star relic that I have. All right, and you can see I put on, um, I just randomly put on um, these relics to champions. Later on, I'm going to actually invest in some time uh, looking through the best combinations of relics for which champions and that kind of thing. But I do know that that Venom relic goes with Venom. Okay, that's a that's a definite. Um, and that Black Widow relic definitely goes with um, my Black Cat. The other two, I'm not sure yet. Okay, um, I believe those are pretty good, but I need to check. All right, now, here are my stats. I am free to play. And if you want to know what that means, look at my PvP Fights 1. I live in the arena. That is how I get my units. That is how I get most of my resources. I don't spend money to get them, so I have to get them from the game. And the biggest source is the arena. I do all the arenas all the time, every single time. Okay, get all the units that are available in the arenas every time. Every unit you see up there, that is a grinded unit, not paid for. All right. All right. So let's take a look here. And first, we're going to go through the uh, story content right quick so I can show you. So book one. Uh, I have all of them, obviously, 100%. Okay. Book two, I have everything 100% up to 8.3. We're waiting for 8.4 to drop. When that drops, I'll be able to 100% that one as well. All right. So I'm right here, right up on it. All right. 90% complete, as you see. All right, now, we also have these special quests here. So I did the Shooting Stars quest. The Grandmaster's Gauntlet is a funny one. I have completed it several times, okay? Uh, you're not going to see a 100% because uh, in order to do that, you have to do one of these others, but I wanted to come in here so you could see the solid lines. See? So I've done this uh, gauntlet. See the dotted lines here? That's a different path that you don't have to take. And I could, but you see all the rewards with the key? That's the one that I did. And I actually do have more keys, and I can come in here and do some more. But I'll do that maybe at some point in time in the future. All right, Eternity of Pain, Acceptance, went ahead and knocked that out. Grief Incarnate, not doing that. It's basically the same thing, but I think you have to go through straight without using or something I think you have to do all the fights at once. Um, 
let me see here again. Yeah. You've got to go through and do every single fight in one go. And I don't feel like doing that. I've done all the fights. I just didn't do them all in one go. Um, and I don't even know what the rewards are for that, but no. Now, the Necropolis, I will be doing soon. I have everything in place. So um, probably about a week after this video, I will have done the Necropolis. Not 100%. I'm just going to do one run, and then I'll do a path here and there as I um, really as I feel like it. The Abyss of Le Legends, I have never done. And I don't really plan to do. It's just not worth it. And it didn't look fun when uh, it was out. That's probably the only content other than the Necropolis that I have not done. Okay. Road to the Labyrinth is done. Labyrinth of Legends, Realm of Legends, all of that is done. Okay. We also have some uh, special quests. Let me see. Did I already go in here? It's not in here. There it is. Back issues. They made it its own uh, section. I always forget. But I've already done the variant difficulties. All of them. I didn't do the classic ones. That's the easy one. Um, only because there's some units and revives in there that I'm kind of saving for when I feel like going in there and, and collecting them. But the hard one, the variant, I went through and 100 percent it. Now, I did do some of the uh, classic ones, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't know if I 100 percented any of them, but I have gone in there uh, and done some. But there are units, I think, in here. OK, yeah. So this classic one, I did 100%. That one I did 100%. I usually end up working backwards. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I don't know. Um, okay, so I've done two of these 100%, and then the other ones I'm just waiting on. Okay. Now, let me see. Daily quest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's go to the champions. Let's first take a look at my seven star champions. Uh, as you can see, I have 31 of them. And my rank fours, are, I mean, not my rank fours, my rank twos are Warlock, Domino, Bishop, and Venom. That's my rank twos. We can do it this way as well. Okay, so those are the only rank twos that I have currently. And I've got all of these rank ones. Not too bad. I've actually used Iron Man in Alliance War. I've used Black Cat quite often. I want to awaken that void. Um, I think he'll be pretty good. Um, but uh, Mantis also is... If you know what you're doing, she can put out a lot of damage. And, of course, my girl Elsa, love her. Uh, Wiccan is also really good. I don't tend to use him a whole lot. Storm, she is really annoying on defense and actually pretty decent uh, on offense as well. All right, and you can see the rest of them. All right, now let's go to... These are my rank fives, uh, six stars. And Nick Fury, Hercules, Hulkling, Onslaught, Absorbing Man. I just took Aegon up in preparation to do uh, the Necropolis. Uh, infamous Iron Man, Black Widow, and of course, Kingpin. Very, very nice. You can tell which ones are ascended because they have the little uh, star because they're maxed out. So that's Nick Fury, Hercules, Hulkling, and Onslaught. None of the others are ascended. Now, who will I ascend? We'll see. We'll see. 
Um, Aegon doesn't really need it. It's nice, especially since I'm going to be going into the Necropolis, but he doesn't really need it, so I'll probably save it for someone else. All right, now, uh, for my... Oh, and uh, nine of them are at rank five. I have a total of 243 six stars. Okay, here are my rank fours. And take a look at these. And most of these I use in some way, shape, or form. Either Alliance Quest, Alliance War, Battlegrounds, or in questing. Right now, I'm about to go into Alliance War. Magneto's coming with me. Um, Spider-Man, Stark Enhance is coming with me. So, you know, I do have a use for these guys uh, at rank four. And when I'm able to take up more rank fives, a lot of these guys are going to go to rank five. All right. Rank three. These champions, some of them will not go to rank four anytime soon. And the reason is that I have them as a seven star and I've already ranked them up or something like that. Um, like for example, Black Cat. Why am I gonna take uh, Black Cat up to rank four when I've got the seven star? So we'll see. Now Shuri, I don't have her as a seven star yet, but she does exist as a seven star. Maybe I'll take her to rank four um, if I don't get the seven star anytime soon. So we'll see, all right? But these are all of my rank threes. There's that uh, Weapon X. He's definitely going up. Just don't know when. Um, I keep meaning to take Rintra up, but I have other champs that I want to take up over him. Uh, Sandman and Shocker, these are rank four candidates, but I think um, Shocker... Shocker and Sandman might be available as seven stars. I'm not sure yet. All right, so those are my rank threes. My rank twos are non-existent because as soon as I can, I take them straight to rank three. So I have no rank twos. And then here are all of my rank ones. They're rank one either because I don't really have a current use for them um, or I already have them as a seven star something, okay? Um, not because they're they're bad champions, just <clears throat> I haven't uh, taken them up. But if you look here, most of them I don't really have a use for. <clears throat> just don't have. Now, some of them I will, like um, I might take Captain America up but I believe he is already as a seven star. He may not be. Um, Sunspot. These are worthies. I just haven't done it yet. And who knows, by the time I get around to it, because I have other champs I want to take up even now over them, if they're not already um, here as a seven star, they will be. Captain America, um, I think he is available as a seven star. Craven is most likely not going to be taken up anytime soon. I, I might take Groot up over Craven. I just do not like Craven. Anyway, um, there's my Iron Fist, six star Iron Fist. Nice trophy champ. I wish they'd bring him back because he was good. Wong exists as a seven star. And of course, Void, I've got the seven star. All right, now let's go to my five stars. And I know people still wanna see my five stars and yes, I do still rank up my five stars. See that weapon X? You know I just got him, I just took him up. All right, so let's go down. These are my rank, whoops. These are my uh, rank fives. I have 128 rank five five stars. I don't really use them. 
There are, um, I think, the uh, T4 Basic Arena. I'll use them. And the uh, T1 Alpha Arena, I'll use them. Other than that, I don't really use them. See that Onslaught? Took him up too. So I do still rank up my uh, five stars, but usually it's just for fun or to get some points in the uh, level up. Other than that, I don't really need to use them. If I'm really pushing for a high score, which I don't do very often, I might use them, but there's not really a, a use for them right now for me. All right, here's the rank fours. And who knows, you know, Werewolf by Night, I do want to take him up. I don't believe I have him as a six star. So I can take him up and then, you know, just play with him for a little bit, you know, in the arena, most likely. Here are my rank threes. Now, when I'm when I am using these in arena, I do not use anything below rank five. So if I'm going to use a champion at all as a five star, they got to be rank five. So all of these champs don't get used at all. OK. And then my rank twos are non-existent. So are my rank ones. Every five stars, at least rank three. I take them straight to rank three. Um, usually the very first uh, level up that comes. Now, last time I skipped the lower rank, uh, lower tier rarity uh, champions, and people were like, why didn't you show those? All right, so here are my four stars. I have 255 four stars. Let me see. Yeah. Just want to make sure. Um, here are my rank fives. I have 184 maxed out four stars. Okay. We'll just, you can slow it down if you want to, but I have 184 of these. And yes, if you're wondering whether I can basically infinitely um, grind out the arena? Yes. I will not get through all of these champions before they start coming off cooldown. And yes, I do still rank up my four stars. Them I use in um, the uh, four star arena, obviously. All right. So 184 rank five four stars. I have 70 rank four, four stars. All right. And one rank three, only because I haven't gotten around to uh, taking her up yet. Um, I got her recently and I took her up uh, to rank three. And then as you can see, I don't have the resources because I was, I think, um, I was trying to save them for Aegon uh, for when I got him, so I wasn't ranking up any uh, skill champions. Um, no rank twos, no rank ones. All right, now, three stars, 253. No, whoops. Why did I do rank five, five? Notice the number did not change. That's because I have no rank one, two, or three. All of my three stars are maxed out. So obviously, I do still take up three stars. They're all maxed. Okay. Then we've got my two stars here. Same thing. Everybody's maxed out. And, uh, well, let me 
show you really quick here. Um, I do not have all the two stars. And Marvel Insider used to be a great place to get some of the rarer uh, two stars, ones that are not in the crystals and everything. They stopped that. So I pretty much have all of the two stars that are in the crystals. So the only way I'm going to get new two stars will be from, you know, I guess special collector crystals maybe. I don't know. But, yeah. So those are my two stars. And then, of course, all of my one stars. See that uh, summon Simeon? Look, at he just looks out of place. He's a one star with 8,610 PI. Woo! One of these things is not like the other. All right. But anyway, now, I don't have these um, one stars. At one time, I did have all of them. And quite frankly, I'm not sure how to get those three. But I do try to open up those collector crystals, so I'm guessing they're in there because you do get one or two star um, champions from it. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, I believe that is going to do it. Let me think. Um, is there anything else you guys might want to see about my account? I, for some reason, I always miss something. I always miss something. Um, inventory. No. Crystals. No, no, no. Yeah. I can't think of anything else, guys. Sorry. So if I've missed something, I am sorry. Tried to be as thorough as I could. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all... Have a blessed day.